Do you recall the iconic 1964 TV series Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea? It's a classic that has left a lasting mark on the world of science fiction and adventure. But did you ever wonder about the lesser known facts and anecdotes surrounding this series that might fascinate you? As we dive into the depths of the show's history and impact, we invite you to share your most cherished memories or personal experiences related to Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea. We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. So, let's embark on this journey of discovery and nostalgia, exploring the hidden gems of this beloved series. What lesser known facts or anecdotes about this TV series fascinate you? And what's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea? Share with us in the comments below. Let's keep the conversation going. The TV series Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea from 1964 is the longest running of all Irwin Allen produced science fiction series. It ran for four seasons from 1964 to 1968 capturing the imaginations of viewers with its thrilling underwater adventures and futuristic technology. The show was not only groundbreaking for its time, but also ahead of its time, as it explored the possibilities of undersea exploration and technology. The series followed the adventures of the crew of the Seaview, a nuclear-powered submarine designed for both exploration and defense against potential threats to humanity. Under the command of Admiral Harriman Nelson, the crew faced a wide range of challenges, from hostile sea creatures to foreign powers. The show's innovative use of special effects and practical props added to its appeal, making it a beloved classic among science fiction enthusiasts. Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea also delved into moral and ethical dilemmas associated with advanced technology, often raising thought-provoking questions about the responsible use of science and its potential consequences. Its characters and their relationships with one another added depth to the series, making it more than just a sci-fi spectacle. Stay tuned for more insights into this iconic series as we explore its impact on the world of science fiction and its enduring legacy in popular culture. This unique show continues to captivate audiences with its imaginative storytelling and technological innovations, showcasing a future that was once considered far-fetched but is now closer to reality than ever. Discover the secrets of the deep with Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea, a classic piece of television history. Henry Kulke was chosen as a series regular in the role of Chief Curly Jones. The role was cut short when Kulke was stricken by a fatal heart attack in February 1965 that ended his life and career, which included over 100 features and television episodes. This tragic event had a significant impact on the show, leading to changes in the cast and storyline. It serves as a reminder of the unpredictability of life, even in the world of entertainment. The loss of Henry Kulke left a void that the series had to adapt to, and it remains a poignant moment in the history of Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea. In 1964, a 66 card set of black and white trading cards was released by Donruss, selling for five cents a pack. The set consisted of stills from the first season. Today, a set in mint condition can sell for several hundred dollars. These collectible cards offer a glimpse into the early days of Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea, the iconic TV series that captured the imaginations of viewers with its thrilling underwater adventures and futuristic technology. As fans of the show know, the series followed the crew of the Seaview, a nuclear-powered submarine designed for exploration and defense. The loss of key cast members like Henry Kulke, who played Chief Curly Jones, had a significant impact on the show's direction. However, the series adapted, demonstrating the unpredictability of life, even in the world of entertainment. The collectible trading cards are a tangible piece of the show's history, allowing fans to connect with the past and relive the excitement of those early seasons. They serve as a reminder of the enduring legacy of Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea and its impact on popular culture. So, whether you're a collector or just a fan of classic TV, these cards are a valuable piece of television history. During the 1965 season of the series, Susan Flannery was considered for a recurring role as Admiral Nelson's secretary, serving both as an onshore ally to the adventures and as an occasional romantic interest for Captain Crane. 
The plans were dropped after demographics showed the series was more popular with children than adults. This decision reflected the show's evolving direction and its target audience as it continued to explore undersea adventures and futuristic technology while adapting to viewers' preferences. In the final two seasons, the series took a different turn, leading into paranormal storylines popular in the late 1960s. Mummies, werewolves, talking puppets, and an evil leprechaun all walked the corridors of the sea view. There were also fossil men, flame men, frost men, lobster men, and shadow men, each with the cheesy, low-budget makeup effects and costume designs characteristic of Irwin Allen's other TV shows at the time. This shift added a new dimension to the series, introducing elements of fantasy and the supernatural. As a side note, it's interesting to mention that the Seaview had a sister sub called the Polydor that was destroyed in the second episode, which is a lesser known fact about the show. These elements combined to shape the unique and evolving identity of Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea, a series that continued to surprise and entertain its audience throughout its run. The pilot for Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea, titled 11 Days to Zero, was initially filmed in color but aired in black and white. Additionally, the Season 1, Volume 1 DVD of the series includes both versions of the pilot, one in black and white as it originally aired, and the other in color as it was originally filmed, along with the Season 2 opening credits as a bonus. This unique aspect of the show's history highlights the transition from black and white to color in television, and offers fans a chance to experience the pilot in its intended format. The use of props from Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea and other popular shows like Lost in Space, The Time Tunnel, Land of the Giants, and Batman showcases the resourcefulness and cost-saving practices in the entertainment industry during that era. It's a testament to the versatility of these props and their enduring presence in the science fiction and fantasy genres of the time. Due to ABC's request for a somewhat lighter tone in the second season, Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea shifted towards more Monster of the Week type plots. However, it still retained elements from the first season, including storylines with Cold War themes and speculative fiction set in the near future. This change in tone reflects the series' ability to adapt to network demands while retaining some of its original thematic elements. These aspects of the show's history, from the pilot's color transition to the reuse of props and the shift in tone for the second season, contribute to the rich and dynamic legacy of Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea, a series that continued to evolve and captivate its audience. As we journey to the end of this captivating exploration into the depths of the 1964 TV series, Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea, I encourage you to embark on a personal voyage of your own. This show, with its thrilling adventures beneath the waves, offered us not just an escape into the mysteries of the ocean, but a chance to dive deep into our own memories and emotions. Think back to the first time you watched the Seaview Submarine and its valiant crew navigate through treacherous waters. What emotions did it stir within you? Were you filled with awe at the uncharted depths they ventured into, or did the camaraderie among the crew members resonate with you on a personal level? Perhaps you remember watching with friends or family, the excitement and anticipation of each episode, the suspense that kept you on the edge of your seat. Or maybe it was a personal connection, a special moment shared with someone dear, making Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea not just a show but a cherished memory. In this digital age, sharing your thoughts, memories, and reflections on this classic series has never been easier. We invite you to engage with fellow fans, reliving those magical moments, and rekindling the spark that voyage to the bottom of the sea ignited within you. Thank you for taking the time to explore this underwater world of nostalgia and wonder with us. Your interest and memories are what keep the spirit of this timeless show alive. We look forward to hearing your thoughts and stories as you continue to navigate the depths of your own personal connection to Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea.